I read that you stopped surfing at age 70. Why did you stop? Um, I was surfing a lot. In fact, later on I'll show you the board that when Johnny made me, he goes, I made you this board and I want you to surf it. I don't want you to put it up on the shelf. You're going to use it. And I did. But what happened was I was surfing outside Cal's, took off on a wave. This young lady takes off in front of me, and she's just beginning. And you can always tell they take off, go to the bottom of the wave, and then stand up. Yep. I'm coming down like this. So it turns out I have to jump over her and she comes popping up. Oh no, she comes popping up and I go, when you take off like that, because knowing that she's just a beginner, you look to your left to make sure nobody's coming down. Well, I've been surfing for a whole year. Gosh. And I go, either I get out right now or I'm ready to punch somebody. I mean, I just, I just had it. Yeah. And it just kept getting more crowded and more crowded. I mean, I'll be 84 in a couple of weeks. Oh, okay. So. That was 14 years ago then? So. So that's being out of the water. You know, it's worse. No. Getting in and out of the wetsuits. Oh, yeah. I remember one time getting out of the water. I mean, it was, they were getting. Harder and harder. Thank God I never had to buy a wetsuit. I was always given one. But I, I remember having getting out of the water, going up to Cal stairs, and having to somebody to help me get out of the damn wetsuit. A stranger. You know, because if you can't get your elbows out, yeah, you know, it's really hard. And when you started surfing, there were no wetsuits, no. right? So I've got pictures of myself just in bathing suits. Even up in Santa Cruz? No, by the time Hermosa. okay, by the time you got here, they had yeah. wetsuits. Okay. Um, well, so that incident is the reason that you stopped surfing at 70. Uh, I want to ask you more about that because it seems like a shame to let a negative experience be the thing that puts you right. out of the water. Well, I, I really probably shouldn't leave it like that, but I was getting to the age it just was getting a little bit harder. Okay. You know, and and getting in and out of the water, going up and down the stairs and all of that, you know, and you get you get kind of tired as you get older. Yeah. Those damn wetsuits. <laughs> uh what do you do you miss it? Do I miss it? I do. Um I I have a pleasure of knowing, watching, knowing exactly what's going on. When you, when there's so many people, just watch it, and they don't understand the floaters. They don't understand the all the maneuvers that are taken. Of course, that's another thing too. Those young kids coming up with all their their whatever they're doing. Yeah, you know, it's amazing. They have it's like Velcro on their feet. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, have you found anything that? services the same thing for you or that is replaced surfing in a way? Um, I, there were not really now that I think about it, I, because I just walk down and I can hang out at the, the cliffs down there and, and watch everything that's going on and, and mind surfing, I guess. You'd say. Yeah. Yeah. If you found yourself in Hawaii where the water was warm and you didn't have to put a wetsuit on, would you go back in? Oh, pro probably. I know I'd, uh, I remember going to Mexico and walking into, I mean, it was hot, walking into the water and it was the same temperature. Yeah. It was amazing. 